NBC presents Short Story. Today, Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson, Scottish novelist, essayist, poet, and short story writer, is best known for his tales of fantasy and adventure and his romantic essays in the personal vein. One of his most famous stories we'll hear dramatized today, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which was first published in 1886. In this classic battle between good and evil, we find Dr. Jekyll, a man beloved by all for his philanthropic endeavors, and Mr. Hyde, who is positively loathsome and plunges into all manner of evil. You see, Dr. Jekyll has discovered a potion that... But that's part of our story, which will begin in just a moment. And now, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Every man is truly two beings, cursed with the struggle of good and evil within him. What would this duality be like, separated, each part living alone, the good companion, and then the pure and ugly evil of a man? Yeah, uh, that you, Poole? Yes, Dr. Jekyll. And come in, come in. Did you get the salt? Yes, sir. Finally, sir. But only three pounds of it. It was all the chemist had. Good. It will suffice. Uh, thank you, Poole. Uh, anything else, sir? Hmm? Uh, oh, no. No, Poole. Good night. Uh, I beg pardon, sir. If I may ask, uh, is the experiment nearly done? I think so, Poole. This time, I think it's really... Nearly done. Oh, splendid, sir. Cook would be glad to hear it, too. Yes, uh, good sir, night, yes. sir. Good night, good night. Mm. Yes, acid. A gram of salt. Uh, mm. Now. Where's your courage, Jekyll? Drink it. Drink it. street door of Dr. Henry Jekyll's house, from his laboratory. And it was this same door he entered again when the first light of dawn dispelled the night. But during the day, the house and the laboratory were quiet, while the master slept. That evening, Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, stood before the bright fire in the library. Dr. Jekyll had sent for him. This will is preposterous, Jekyll. I'm your lawyer, well, yes, there's but... nothing to be so concerned about, Utterson. Edward Hyde is a new friend of mine. I want to be sure he's provided for in case something happens to me, that's all. But nothing's going to happen to you. How could you just disappear, as you've stated in this testament? Well, now, how could I know that, Utterson? Well, it's strange, Jekyll, but if this is the way you want it... Hyde has captured my interest, Utterson. His well-being is the one thing uppermost in my mind... 
I want to be certain, in case something does happen to me, that Hyde will be financially secure to carry on. Mm, I see. Well, all right, Jekyll, as you wish. The will will be ready for your signature in a few days. I'll bring it around myself. Splendid, Utterson. Uh, now, what about that spot of wine? Uh, thanks, no. Uh, Dr. Lanyon's expecting me. Lanyon? He was only asking about you the other evening, Jekyll. We see you so seldom these days. Well, I've been rather hard at it in the laboratory. Sure you can't stay. Uh, another time. Uh, good night, Jekyll. Uh, good night. Wonder who the devil this Edward Hyde is. Mr. Utterson was the first of many Londoners who were to wonder about the hideous specter-like Mr. Hyde. Who were to fear the shadows of night because of him. One evening, nearly a week later... Here, 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 young fellow. What, what's the matter? It's a monster, sir. He struck me with his cane. Help me, sir, please. There, 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 there. Nobody's going to hurt you. Now, where is this monster you speak of? He was right behind me, sir. All the way from Clement Street. Look, there, under the corner light. You'll not let him come at me again, will you, sir? Will you? No, no, my lad. No harm will come to you. Oh, sir. Uh, he's seen us now. Oh, wait. By George, it is a monster. Look, sir, he's making for that doorway. The small one in the shadow, just there. So he is. Hey, here, fellow. Wait a minute there. Come along, my lad. But, sir, don't let him... It's all right now. Don't be afraid. Uh, you there. Uh, did you strike this child? If the ruffian molests me again, I'll strike him again. What, what kind of a devil are you? There's no gentleman that wishes to avoid a scene. It was an accident. Maybe this pound note will ease the boy's pain. Oh, no, no. Take it, lad. Now, if you'll excuse me. Now, wait a moment. And this door. Isn't this Jekyll's laboratory? You must be Mr. Hyde. I'm an old friend of the doctor's, uh, Utterson of Gaunt Street. You must have heard of me. I was just on my way to see Jekyll. How did you know I'm Mr. Hyde? Well, we have common friends. Who are they? Uh, Jekyll, for one. Come. Let me see your face, Mr. Hyde. How well shall I know you when we meet again? We shall not meet again, Mr. Utterson. Well, so that is Hyde. Uh, now, my lad, run along. I've got a call to make. In this house, sir? Yes, but at the front door. I want to see if Mr. Jekyll's in. Uh, now, my lad, uh, you run along home, and don't let me catch you out on the dark streets like this again. Yes, sir, you will, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Paul. Uh, good evening, Mr. Utterson. Dr. Jekyll home, Paul? I'm afraid not, sir. Mm, thought sure he'd be here at this late hour. And the most gently he is, sir. I just saw that Hyde fellow go in by the laboratory door. Is that right, when Dr. Jekyll's away from home? Quite right, Mr. Utterson. Mr. Hyde has a key. Mm, your master seems to put a great deal of trust in him. Yes, sir, he does indeed. We all have orders to obey him, though we see him seldom. He mostly comes and goes by the street door and at night, sir. Well... Tell Dr. Jekyll I'd like to see him as soon as possible and give him these papers, will you, Poole? Yes. I was talking with him about them a few days ago. Yes, sir. Good night, Poole. Good night, Mr. Utterson. The, the sword, Mr. Hyde. Hurry. Mix it well. Pour the powder in slowly. <laughs> Now, drink it. Now. Look, that strength of good, Mr. Hyde. The triumphant strength of good. Clouding, uh, straightening of your crooked, evil soul, the masking of an ugly idol in the glass. It's the last of you, Mr. Hyde. You'll never exist again. What? Is that you, Dr. Jekyll? Uh, yes, Poole. Well, I'm so sorry, sir. I, 
I only just told Mr. Utterson that you were not at home. I came in by the laboratory door, Apu. But Mr. Hyde, sir... Mr. Hyde is gone. Oh, I see. Mr. Utterson left this paper envelope, sir. He asked also to see you as soon as possible. Oh, thank you, Apu. Put it there. Shall I bring you some chocolate, sir? No. No, I'll go to bed. I'm very tired, Apu. I've been alone too much lately. What do you say to my taking your advice and having that dinner party? Oh, that would be like old times, sir. <laughs> we'll talk it over tomorrow. Splendid, sir. And, Poole, I don't think Mr. Hyde will be back again. Good evening. Come right in, sir. Dr. Lanyon and Miss Julie, come in. Come Hello, in. Jacko. Good yeah. to see you out of that shell after all these months. This isn't going to be one of those stuffy dinner parties, is it? <laughs> Pay no attention to him, Dr. Jekyll. Your hat and coat, Dr. Lennon. Oh, we, uh, yes, Poole. Uh, by the way, Jekyll. Yes. This is your walking stick, isn't it? Why, well, so it is. You went off with mine the last time you were over and left yours. Did I? I am sorry. Uh, look for Dr. Lanyon's cane, will you, Poole? Yes, sir. Of course, I'd rather have this one. I'm fond of canes and sherry. A little dog's head is nicely carved. Well, perhaps we'll arrange a swap someday. Well, Dr. Jekyll, good oh, evening. Good, Sir Andrew. Hello there. Where have you been hiding all these weeks? Hiding? Oh, right here, Sir Andrew, right here. Well, we've missed you. Mrs. Fielding's dinners aren't the same without Dr. Well, Jekyll. Well, thank I you, must sir. say it's good to see you, Jekyll. Utterson. You're Hello. not evading me this time. Been trying to see you all week. Why, something on your mind? Uh, not here, old fellow. Come along. We can steal out a few minutes before dinner. But only a few. I've got a house full of guests, remember. Oh, uh, look. There's nobody here in the laboratory. Sit down. By the fire. My word. It does look like you've been working. Well, it takes a lot of equipment for chemical experiments. Now, what's up? You should know without asking. That will, of course. Oh, that. I don't like it, Jekyll. You never did. And especially since I've met your Mr. Hyde. Uh, He's a frightful <clears throat> fellow, Jekyll. The other night... Well, let's he... not talk about it, Utterson. It's not as you fancy. I can be rid of Hyde the moment I choose. What? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I was just going to say, let's leave the will as it is. And will you promise me one thing? What's that? I still take a great interest in Hyde, and I only ask for justice for... You to help him if the time comes when I'm no longer here. Oh, the whole thing's preposterous, but yeah, it's a promise. I'll do my best. Oh. Well, look here, Jekyll. Are you ill? No. No, I... But... Your face, man. Your face. Don't look at me, Alison. Jekyll, wait a minute. He saw you, Mr. Hyde. My eyes. Let me alone. Let me alone. You've got to die and stay dead forever. You're afraid, Mr. Hyde. Afraid of him. Can you kill the strongest force in the world? You've got to have the strength of Hyde to murder, the inordinate strength of Hyde. You can't kill me, Jekyll. The good in you can never kill. And I shall never die. Not as long as you can live. Our story continues after this brief pause. And now, back to today's short story. Oh, Anna, what's the matter with you? Oh, Miss Julie, close the window, close the window, quick. What, what happened? The, the, that hideous creature we heard about, ma'am, that Mr. Heidi, I just saw him kill a man. Kill a man? Where? In the street, just outside. I screamed and he looked up at me like a wild man he was. Oh, no, no, don't go out there, Miss Julie. But, uh, Anna. 
Now get yourself in hand. Julie, what's going on here? There's something on the street, Father. You better go out and see what's happened. Oh, the creature was about to come up to the balcony, Dr. Lanyon. It was stooped and hit you. Uh, and... Put her on the bed, Julia. I'll be right back. I've just been sitting here peaceful like watching the moonlight ever since you and Dr. Lanyon came back from Dr. Jekyll's party. Then, then the white-haired gentleman came along and this monster... Oh, my. It's all right, Hannah. And the white-haired gentleman just asked about the post and this monster struck him with his cane oh. and then kicked him and kicked Anna. him. It was that Hyde monster, Miss Julie. Oh, but where'd he go? Well, when I screamed, some people came out from the houses and, and she looked round like an animal and then ran away. Oh, he might come back, Miss Julia. Don't let him come back. Don't let him come back. <laughs> Here, here, get back there. What's happened? The poor blighter, such an old man. He's been murdered, Dr. Lanyon. Good Lord. It's Sir Andrew Carew. Looks like he was on his way to the post and some madman attacked him. Uh, here are you. C- call an officer. Already been called. Uh, look at this. Now, what is it? A walking cane. What the murder was done with, most likely. It's broke plumbing, too. Here, let me see that. Heavy sort of cane. Easy to do a murder with that. How terrible. Some maniac's done this. That Mr. Hyde we've heard so much about, and some folks have seen. That's who's done it. Oh, it's Mr. Hyde. Mm. Look at Hyde. Sherry Kane, with a dog's head carved in the handle. Why, this is Dr. Jekyll's. Clark. Clark, let me have a room. Any room, quick. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir, right away. Sir. And I want a note delivered immediately. Uh, will you register, sir? There's uh, no time, I tell you. Give me a room and send me a messenger, quick. Uh, but I, you, boom. I, 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 I... Do you want these fingers around your throat, or will you do as I say? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, Sam, uh, show this gentleman up to 210 and wait for a note he wants delivered. Oh, my word, fingers around my throat. And by God, I, I really meant it. I cannot impress upon you too strongly the importance of this note, Dr. Lanyon. You have been a dear friend, and now my life is in your hands. Go immediately to my house. Poole will admit you. From my laboratory cabinet, remove the fourth drawer from the top, with all its contents intact, and take it to your house where a man will present himself in my name at exactly midnight tonight. You must not fail me. Henry Jekyll. Ah. What an extraordinary thing. Well, I've done as Jekyll said. Now we'll see. Oh, right on the dot. Who's there? There's me, are you from Jekyll? Yes. Let me in. Glenn, you got it. I have, but, but look here. I don't know which car. I have the drawer. It's in my study, uh, through that door there. Uh, 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 where is it? There, on the table. Have you got a, a graduated glass? It's on the shelf beside you, but uh, what are you going to do? I am going to perform a miracle. Now look here. Uh, Jekyll didn't say anything about... If this is some fiendish thing Jekyll's cooked up, I'll be no partner to it. Uh, crystals. Salt. Who are you, anyway? Uh, look at you, Dr. Lang. Man, answer me. Who are you? You've already guessed that, haven't you? It's, I am Mr. Hyde. Hyde. Is your curiosity great enough to watch me drink this potion? What are you talking about? Huh? Get out of here, you you devil! If you watch me, a new knowledge will be open to you, Dr. Lanyon. And in this room, this instant, your sight will be blasted by a prodigy that would stagger the unbelief of Satan and himself. You're a madman. Huh? Get out of my house! Now, now, watch, Dr. Lanyon, now watch! <laughs> Jekyll. Jekyll. In heaven's name. 
It's you. <laughs> the birth of a good man before your eyes. Now you see why I hid myself away all those weeks, Dr. Lanyon. Jack, what are you saying? At first, it took a strong draft of the formula to bring him to life. Weeks ago, that was... But now he's too strong. Now the Jekyll you see before you hasn't the power to keep him back. Two hours from now, Dr. Lanyon, I'll be Mr. Hyde again. And no strength of my will can stop it. Jekyll, you're mad. Leave me alone. I've got to alone. more of the powder, Dr. Lanyon. In heaven's name, don't you see? I've got to find more of the powder. This was the last of it. Jekyll, have mercy. Let an old man alone. Together we can do it, Dr. Poole got the powder for me, but the shop where he got it has no more. It must have contained some impurity that did the trick. You've got to help me find out what that impurity was. Dr. Lanyon, you've got to help me murder this evil hide in my soul. Jekyll. Stop. What? Stop. Dr. Lanyon. Uh... Dr. Lanyon! No! 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 Heart cannot stand the wonder of your miracle, Dr. Zickel. You have killed him. The one man who could save your life is dead. God bless you, Mr. Atherson, for coming so quickly. Oh, what on earth has happened, Paul? I'm sorry afraid Dr. Jekyll's been murdered, sir. What? Murdered? Come with me, sir. Don't make a noise. We mustn't be heard. But where are you taking me? Here's a candle, sir. To Dr. Jekyll's laboratory. And if by any chance he asks you in, don't go, Mr. Atherson. Don't go. But how could Jekyll be dead? Quiet, sir, I beg of you. You see, he's been in the laboratory all day, and he won't come out. And every time I knock, wait, and you shall see. Here's the door. What is it? Mr. Utterson, sir, asking to see you. Tell him I can't see anybody. Yes, sir. Oh, poor, that isn't... Well, that doesn't sound like Jekyll to me. No, sir, I'm glad to hear you say so, because Mr. Utterson, whatever is in there, cries to heaven for help and wails and so What are you driving at, Paul? Well, sir, it, it all began early this morning after they'd found Dr. Lanyon dead. Yes, yes, I saw him. Such terror in his face. Well, sir, it was sometimes Dr. Jekyll's way to leave orders on a sheet of paper outside this door. And since early this morning, sir, we've had nothing else except notes and a closed door and food left outside to be smuggled in whom... When nobody was looking. And a dozen times, Mr. Anderson, those notes were sent me flying all over London to wholesale chemists for a certain powder. But every time, soon after I brought it back, there'd be another paper telling me to return it because it wasn't right, sir. And this drug, sir, is wanted very badly. Then maybe it is, Jack Poole. Maybe... Oh, sir, do you think I wouldn't know my master after 20 years? That thing in there, Mr. Utterson, had done away with Dr. Jekyll. Then who do you think it is in there? I give you my Bible word, Mr. Utterson. It's that monster, Mr. Hyde. Mm, that's what I thought. Come on, we've got to break in. Yes, sir. We need an axe, something to pry the door with. Well, I have the tools here. I've also taken the liberty of sending a footman with the boy around uh, by the by street entrance, just in case. And I have a gun here, sir. Good. But can they catch him if he tries to escape? They can, sir. Here's the axe. Here, here. Hold the candle. Right. I'm going to knock first. Right. Mr. Hyde, will you let me in? I can't see anybody. Go away. If you don't open the door, I'm going to break it down. Utterson, in heaven's name, have mercy. Leave me alone. Oh, stand back. Yes. If you value your life, stay away. We're coming in there, Mr. Hyde. No. Do you break down the door? I'll kill you. Do you hear me? I'll kill you. No. Mr. Anderson, wait. I'll unlock the door. Give me that gun, Paul. The door's unlocked. Open it and come in if you dare. Stand behind me, Paul. I'm going to push it open. Oh, it's the monster. Mr. Anderson has got a knife. Stay back from us, Mr. Hyde. Here, you see. 
see evil incarnate, Mr. Utterson. And murder is my forte. So you have murdered Dr. Jekyll? Because he wished me dead. Now both of you shall die. Coming at us, sir. Stay back now. beside. Utterson, look out. Now. Ah! He's dead, Paul. Then we must find Dr. Jekyll. His body must be here somewhere in the laboratory. Wait. Look. His face. It's changing, sir. It's... You're looking at the shell of an evil soul, Paul. Dissolving. Turning back to the form of its creator. But it's... It's Dr. Jekyll. What does it mean, Mr. Utterson? It means the evil man is Deadpool. For here lies the better half of his duality. Triumphant. This has been NBC Short Story. Today, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Join us again next time when NBC presents Short Story. Short Story.